So healthy snacks and treats and fats over the holidays. This is a trick we need to know about. And I have an expert with us. We have Rita Carey Rubin. She is a registered dietitian and also a certified diabetes educator with Yavapai Regional Medical Center and the host of Your Healthy Kitchen. Da -da -da. Rita, great Hi. to have you back Good with to us. Be here, I tell you, it's wonderful, especially during the holidays. We need to know about this kind of thing, you know, yeah. I mean, my goodness, how to, because I mean, I just said, oh my gosh, I'd like to cut out sugars right now, it, you know, but it's hard. it's hard. How do we snack healthy and fill up? Where do we start? Well, I think nuts and seeds are really the perfect snack. So we don't got... have to be squirrels? No, okay. no, you don't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> don't steal from the squirrels, they'll get mad. Um, right. But yeah, they're, they're filled with, with protein and fiber and healthy fat, a little bit of carbohydrates. So they tend to be really filling. So it can be, you know, between the meals, you know, just grab a grab a handful of nuts or seeds and usually takes you through to the next meal. And, you know, it's yeah. amazing because your body knows when you do not have mm -hmm. the nutrients in there because I'm like yesterday, I was just hungry, 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 uh -huh. hungry. And I knew it was because somehow my body was saying, I don't have enough of the protein or the sure. whatever. Sure. But, but these kind of, and these are easy. You know, you can take these with you anywhere, right? They are. They're super easy. And you know, you can eat them plain, just, just plain and raw, but I actually like to add some flavor. You always have some tricks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some what do we do to with add some seeds flavor. and nuts to make yeah. them really fun? So first, first thing you can do is just toast them. So, oh, and that okay. just really brings up the flavor. So, what do you put in a pan to? You put any oils or anything? No, in there? No, no, just plain. So, these okay. are some seeds, um, things that are flat. You can toast right in a skillet, oh. and uh, just on medium high heat. Um, you can just stir them around, trying to make sure that they don't. And know, just kind of browns it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking up for. A little bit. Okay. And um, and then something like nuts, like walnuts. Or pecans, where they're kind of an unusual shape. Yeah, they're not gonna—they're gonna brown weird. They do, they do. You'll get hot spots, you'll get burn spots if you do them in a pan. So I just do uh -huh. them on a baking sheet in the oven. Oh, 350 okay. degrees, about 15 minutes. Same they, thing. No oils, no seasonings, no, no nesting necessarily. Nope, no. Nope. Okay. So just toast them like that, or you can add flavor. Uh -huh. And uh, and so that's always fun. Here's the tricky Here's part. Here's the tricky part. No, yes. it's actually easy. So these are okay. these are actually some toasted almonds, and I put. Um, just some tamari on them. So right out of the nice. oven on the baking sheet while it's still hot, take some tamari or soy sauce and just uh, pour it over and then stir it up until the, the tamari dries up and it dries oh, right on the it's, nuts. And, and it's beautiful. You know something extra is on those. Mm -hmm. but, yep. but very and, subtle. So yeah, and this is um, these sunflower seeds I'm going to flavor with something called umeboshi plum vinegar. Okay, and where do we get Oshi? It, what? Umaboshi. <laughs> umaboshi. <laughs> it's actually um, common in Japanese cuisine. It's the vinegar they, that comes off of a, kind of a delicacy that they make. It's a pickled plum. Oh, is it a little bit sweet then? It's a, well, you know, it's a little or, tart and a oh. little salty. Oh, so, interesting. Mm -hmm, it's just a, it's a slightly unusual flavor, just a little bit different. And uh, and again, so that pan was hot. Uh -huh. Just waited until they got all toasty, and pour a little ume on there, and stir it until it dries. And there you go. So um, we can get this at health food stores, or yeah, you can or... find it at um, natural grocers or Sprouts, Whole Foods. Yeah. Okay, yeah, probably just so Japanese vinegar is probably what I'm gonna have to ask for. Yeah. <laughs> umeboshi. Um, um, umeboshi. 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 Yeah. Okay. So those Beautiful. are sort of salty, okay. salty flavors, and um, and then you can sweeten things up. So um, one of my favorite holiday things to do is glazed walnuts. So uh, so I've got those some, are beautiful. Are they yes. So um, so in the pan we've got some uh, maple syrup, balsamic oh, vinegar. Oh okay. And I'm going to throw in some rosemary, just chopped fresh. Okay, rosemary. chopped rosemary. Mm -hmm. And some, this is the zest from a lemon. Oh, wow, this is tricky. Where do you come up with this stuff, Rita? This uh, just kills me. You know just the thing to put there's in. There's many failures. <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error. It's like, oh, that okay. didn't work. <laughs> That's where great knowledge comes from, there right? <laughs> and then you just take the, the nuts and just toss them in the pan and uh, stir them around until they coat. And that's all there is to it. You don't need to add any extra fat. That um, is amazing because there are fats. Nuts have fats, but they're really good fats for mm -hmm, you. They are very right? good. Walnuts especially. Oh, I forget. I add a little flaky sea salt to this too. Oh, love So sort of that. like a, a salty, sweet 
You know, I love that combo. Oh, exactly. Um, sweet and sour, however we're talking mm -hmm. about. Savory. Savory. Yeah, savory. Okay, savory. There's a little savory, sweet, tart, a little salt in here. Now, this um, is interesting because maple, maple syrup is a sugary base, mm -hmm. you know, natural sure. sugar, right? Yeah. So you end up getting something really delicious and almost sugary. It is. It's just a now, little bit Now, my memory sweet. is I have this memory of my grandma sitting in there, you know, I don't know whether we're singing, watching the Christmas tree or whatever, and she would be mixing up popcorn with, you oh, know, like caramel popcorn. Sure. And so sugary and so, you know, yeah. deliciously uh -huh. bad for you. <laughs> and so when I see this, it's like, this could be the new tradition. There you go. To make it healthy Perfect. and that you want to eat. Yeah, yeah, just a little sweet, but you get the oh. value of those those nuts, those healthy fats and fiber and protein. Yeah. Um, lots of, um, actually, calcium, potassium, magnesium. Um, they're, they've been shown to help lower cholesterol. Oh, you're kidding. So you can um, kind of dump some of those extra vitamins that you take if you just eat yeah, healthy in yeah, the first place. Yeah, sure. Now, when you do maple syrup, you're meaning the actual real maple syrup, not... Yeah, I like the amber. It used to be called grade B, but amber is a little darker, a little more flavorful. So that's oh, okay. what I use, real maple syrup, not the fake stuff. Okay, so we had maple syrup, balsamic vinegar, a little sea salt, a little rosemary, mm -hmm. and some and lemon, some lemon zest. zest. Just to brighten it up a little bit. All right, so yeah. is this what that is. it turns Try out? One. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try this. Okay. Do you have a name for this? Uh, let's call them rosemary mm. glazed walnuts. How's that? Mm. Those are so good. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yummy. Yeah. So how do people remember all this? So you're going to put something on your mm -hmm. website or something? Yep. So or? To, to look at all of our videos at YRMC is Your Healthy Kitchen, you just go to YRMCHealthConnect.org. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see a space for Your Healthy Kitchen. You click on that, and you can see all of our videos. We've been doing Your Healthy Kitchen for three years now. Congratulations. So, mm -hmm, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, so there's lots of segments with you on there. Yeah, we and love having you on the show, too, you know, because, it's again, fun. You always have such wonderful ideas for us and things. And this is so, so good for the holidays. Maybe we can make it through without gaining 10 pounds and getting unhealthy. Right. Okay. And that's actually help you lose weight. So yes. There you go. I love these. They're yeah. beautiful. And those are absolutely delicious. Tracy, huh? Traces, the sunflowers I'll try later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Rita sure. Harry Rubin. My pleasure. Yavapai Regional Medical Center's Your Healthy Kitchen. Love it. Always fun to have you on with us. Always good to be here. <laughs>